everybody, my name is Cat Link, and we're going to be doing some white day here today. Uh, just to double check, because we do have a costume incentive. Uh, there's some lovely options, and I mean there's a lot of options, but uh, we only get to pick one one particular option, and which was, I think it was low poly? Unless that changed. Still it's still a low poly. All right, time to go through all <laughs> the characters. We have a plethora of characters here uh and while i'm doing this i'll introduce my commentary uh captain ezekiel take it away hi everybody i'm captain ezekiel certified cat Link's friend and i'm <laughs> here to join you guys in watching some very fun dating sim korean spooky game is that a good way to put it and essentially, it's uh, so the, the idea of White Day is uh, it's basically a second Valentine's Day in places like Korea, Japan, Taiwan, uh, etc., China. So it, it's basically a a day where men give uh, women chocolates and gifts. So basically, we're the main character doing such, and we're trying to impress certain girls to keep them around. We'll get we'll go through it over the run. But yeah, we, we get some low poly waifus. Uh, so we're gonna get started. We are playing on hard mode, uh, and there's a reason for that. But we'll get started in three, two, one, go. Mm, All right, luck. let's go. So uh, yeah, so white day is gonna be a lot of uh, dialogue selections. So it's gonna be left or right for a lot of the dialogue selections, and. A lot of uh, a lot of people to talk to. Um, it is a quite chatty game, but we only want to talk to certain ones because uh, for certain situations we want uh, one of the ladies to be with us, and we want some of them to not be with us. Hmm. Looking at the low poly models, is so just sorry, Andy. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. <laughs> it's... It definitely a little bit different than when I saw you playing it originally. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, a lot of these dialogue options are predetermined that Kat has to do in order to get the uh, the responses she needs. Because uh, Kat can correct me, but I believe uh, she needs to hit the right one so that she gets the right uh, waifu, if you will, throughout the game to for, for essentially because it's faster. Uh, so some of the options, if we were to go right instead of left, for instance, uh, basically one of the waifus would not be around and there's a janitor. The janitor likes to uh, appear sometimes. Uh, basically, sometimes the girls will make the janitor go away. And if we don't make the janitor go away, well, it could mean death because on... Uh, on hard mode, we only we get three hit chance, and that's it. We don't get a lot of choices here for, uh, you know, we can't just sacrifice a hit sometimes. We're sort of just forced to uh, try and dodge as much as we can, so we want to make sure we have the some of the ladies around and some of them not. Uh, sometimes you do get teleported, uh, depending on the options you choose, so we want to get teleported to the right spot. Also, this cutscene's kind of great, so I'm going to let you guys witness it. Um, it's really random. Usually with the anime outfits, this would have been ten times more hilarious, but it, yeah, this is just random. <laughs> this janitor's beating up kids, it's fine. Um, yeah. So, we're gonna be turning off the steam here. It doesn't really matter which order you do. Uh, there's one right there. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna walk through some spider webs here. No big deal, it's fine. Uh, definitely not gonna itch thinking about that it's cool uh, definitely itching <laughs> thinking about that yeah <laughs> uh this game it, it is a little bit elaborate so you're probably wondering why the low poly models uh so this game was originally uh released i believe in 2001 uh th this game had a few remakes um this is the most recent one 2017 i believe uh it's on steam great game i highly recommend it as a horror game uh it is quite confusing but it is uh it is pretty quality we're gonna do a puzzle real quick right here. <clears throat> You'll also notice, um, and I can't be able to explain a bit better, where she picks up items and uh, goes into her menu 
to cancel a pickup animation that the game details like shows you the item you picked up. Yeah. So you saw a little bit right there. Uh, basically, it's kind of like it shows you the item. Uh, it's like, wow, look at look at this nifty item you just picked up. Um, and you sort of want to try and get out of that as quick as possible. Sometimes I uh, overshoot it and I accidentally pause the game uh, because you do need to be looking at the item. Sorry, I'm going to make sure my notes are here. I just want to make sure I'm not selecting the wrong dialogue for these ladies. Um, you know, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, the dialogue makes no sense uh, because we are skipping a lot of it. Uh, don't worry about it. The school is quite confusing, though. Uh, it is called a labyrinth for a reason. We're just gonna go to this door. Thankfully, certain cutscenes will get rid of the janitor. Usually, there's a janitor right there. I'm kind of worried. <laughs> you got this. Don't, don't worry. Uh, the chat, don't worry. The janitor definitely owns, though. So I've seen it kill cat before. Yeah. So, but don't worry. It's she's a professional. She's got this under control. He's a bit nasty. So the reason why this is New Game Plus, uh, technically this is New Game. This is what the New Game would be, but because we have this fine lady uh, here with us, uh, we have to talk to her. She is a New Game Plus thing. So normally she wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be talking to her. She's kind of non-existent in the, uh, in the New Game run. But because it's New Game and I don't really feel like deleting the save, I just rather just deal with the conversation briefly and then move on. Um, so it's not that big of a deal. You also but. saw Cat pick up a tranquilizer earlier. This is for a stamina refresher later because when you run out of stamina in this game, it is brutal. Not only like just on the eyes, but just in general, it is it is painful to see. Yeah, uh, it it gets a little disorienting. Um, so if you're not used to the woozy and the wobbliness, uh, yeah, I apologize. Also, I just want to say, for those who are not aware, there is an incentive for an extra boss fight. I believe the goal for it is 6,000, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong, but I promise you the extra boss fight is completely worth it just for the music alone. The music is quite wild. <laughs> Plus, to get to 6,000, we, we need to get to 5,000 first, which means hot sauce. Plus boss uh, fight. Plus music and everything. All the things. That's a pretty sick deal. Yes, hot sauce. Let's go. Let's go, chat. Please uh, do donate. Okay, keep those donations coming. And uh, if there are ever, ever donations coming in, uh, definitely don't hesitate to, uh, you know, bump me a bit. And I'm really surprised there's no janitor right now. I'm quite worried. <laughs> I'm going to pick up this heal here, just in case. It's a good omen. It's, it's the, the gaming gods giving you back for what Jack Baker did to you earlier. Yeah, uh, that was quite something. So I'm not going to use that right away. I am going to save it for later uh, because the janitor's not here. So if the janitor's not here, that means he's up here, which is bad. Um, he's probably going to bug me right about now. We'll see, though. Sometimes he'll appear here, sometimes he won't. If he doesn't actually show up at all, I'll be shocked. But I have a feeling he's right behind this door. Yep, that's what Ooh. I So, um... What the? That's not good. I need to lose him for a minute. Uh, so we're gonna bring him over here. So, I already took damage, and that's not good. So I have to lose him. Um, he will follow you for a while. And it's not very good. I'm going to try and recover my stamina. And this is where... He's laughing at me. I don't like us! Go away, sir! I did not ask for this! So we're just going to close the door on his face. It's fine. Um, usually we want him downstairs so this doesn't happen. But unfortunately, we don't really get much of a choice. So, uh, yeah. And there's the stamina. Unfortunately, I did not need this right now. Oh, cutscene! Come on! <laughs> Give me the cutscene! All right, he's gone. All right. Not even close. A little bit of a detour. It's fine. Yeah, we're, I'm gonna try and reboost my stamina here because I do not have a tranquilizer, unfortunately. Uh, so should... the murder, murderous janitor. What's his deal? 
Like why? Uh, so this school is basically cursed. Uh, uh, a lot of people died here, so there's a lot of spirits, uh, a lot of voodoo spirits stuff. You know, just normal high school things. Uh, and a killer plant that we're about to be introduced to. Don't worry about it. It's normal. Uh, it's just a teacher that really liked plants. A student killed the plant, and so the uh, yeah, the teacher just decided he wanted to be a plant. We're on a timer here. We have eight minutes to kill a bunch of plants, essentially. Uh, that's kind of the lore behind this bloodthirsty plant. So we have to go collect a few things. We do have some puzzles to do, which shouldn't be too bad. Uh, let's see what our answer is here. Now, are these plants all in the same places every time, or are they RNG? I can't remember. Uh, they're on the same place at all times. So 94, 25, 94. Yeah. So the puzzles here are RNG, but they're not as RNG as you would think. They're they have set um they have very set like numbers. There's three choices pretty much. Oh, forgot to turn my light on. There you go. Uh there's three set choices, and usually I look at that piece of paper to give me what the answer is. Uh but if I really wanted to, I could try and take a gander at what it could be. Usually for consistency's sake, I just look anyways because it takes like half a second to look, see what the number is, and be like, okay, I know what it is. We're gonna go down here uh, because it is just faster to get the plant over here instead of going all the way on the other side. We have five plants to kill here. And each single time we use a little bit of a chemical soil, sol sol solvent? Solvent. There we go. Poison ivy. <laughs> Um, yeah, so if there's any donations, we do have a little bit of a... We still have a few more plants to kill here, so... If anything at all, actually. Hey, so I actually don't have anything to read right now, so we oh, are okay. waiting for your donations if we want to uh, reach that third circle of tastiness hell. Heck now, yeah. I just I just heard a, are you sure that there are no donations? Are you Let sure me about refresh. That? Let me refresh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is mine and it's been red. That's yeah. okay. That is all right. So we're going to go back downstairs uh, and fight the boss. The bosses in this game are very simple. They're not really that complicated. It's mostly just press button. Okay, you win. <laughs> Doesn't matter the difficulty, it's all pretty much the same. Um, just QTEs win the boss. I just heard a terrible sound. What could that be? Oh, gee, I wonder. Could it be a bloodthirsty plant? <laughs> Crazy. A QTE type. If you're if you're familiar with the premise of a QTE, basically a QTE is a quick time event where it basically the game slows down, tells you to choose an option, and then you just choose that option. But if you're wrong, then you get punished for it. But uh, with these, uh, they're pretty pretty static and not too hard from uh, from what we can gather. Yeah, QTEs in this game are also fire out of a can. By the way, that's always uh, baffled me a bit. <laughs> All right. So now we finished the boss. So now we can move on to building two. There are four buildings we need to go through. Uh, building uh, two is coming up next. Building two is the most, probably the most annoying one, I'd say. Uh, there is a lot more going up and down the stairs and a lot more point A to point B, but it's a lot more confusing. That's, That's a, a lot, lot more. more. Of a lot more. It is a lot more. Uh, than so I, I have to go agree. through a lot of dialogue here. So if there's anything at all, uh, now is your chance. Amazing, because I did refresh and I do have some donations now. We have ten dollars from Basement Guy, who says, "Let's go, Cat. Fondation Les Petits Rois is a great cause, and Cat is the best streamer in the world." Well, that's ah. that's a great fan. In the world. <laughs> Thank you so much, ah. Basement Guy. It is an absolutely great cause. Uh, and Ocean Pearl gives five and sixty nine and says, "Ooh, nice. ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> sounds about right." It is. 
it is it is it is pretty pretty spooky. you'll understand later uh what that means <laughs> oh okay oh it's a reference amazing wow. yeah you actually nailed it unironically <laughs> well that's yes. that's great to hear <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you, everyone, and keep them coming. It is a great cause for Le Petit Roi. Um, and yeah, thank you, Kat and, and Kat, for being there tonight. Thanks. Okay, yeah, keep the donations coming, guys. Keep them coming. We still have a little bit of uh, ways to go before we hit the extra boss fight incentive. If you want to be able to see that, uh, definitely do that uh, Do that now. Loved. I want to really show off that boss song. It's so good. <laughs> about about that last donation, I'm pretty sure that's what Ben Slide is gonna sound like if we reach the hot sauce incentive. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. Uh, don't mind the baby. <laughs> you should mind the baby, chat. Definitely. It clearly needs to pee. Don't don't question the random little tiny baby running around. It's fine. It's a, n no cause for alarm. I'll, also, don't uh, mind the dead person on the ground either. It's fine. It really sounds like we should be mining a lot of the stuff, Cat. That it is really hard to hit there. I'm really hoping the janitor doesn't give me some issues here, because he could. Um, there is a section where I do need to uh, dodge the boss. Whether the boss decides or dodge the well, the janitors are basically boss. I I feel like the janitors are more of a boss than the actual bosses, to be honest. So we open that door there uh, because there is a door we have to access. I'm not gonna look at that chalkboard that we just saw in there because it's confusing. You can ask Zeke; it's freaking confusing. Yeah, it hurts my head. I don't understand how oh, they first try. Let's go. to be able to do that casually. Yeah, I think I cheated it on my casual playthrough because I was like, I don't understand what this means. Uh, some of the puzzles are quite cryptic and a little weird. Uh, so I, I can't really explain it too well. It basically helps if you know Japanese. Did you get that first try, the guess on that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there, if you can get three guesses out of that, and I ended up getting it on first try. So isn't this, a, yeah. isn't this a Korean game? gonna kill me yeah i couldn't grab it in time that's okay so that's the unfortunate part for that you take what you can get thankfully the uh checkpoint is right there so we can just try it again um yeah, that part's super brutal because of how he spawns right there and how kind of like the, the interaction for that pickup is like super finite and really small so like you can't it's hard to do really fast Oh no, I got cornered. I got cornered. I got cornered. That's unfortunate. Oh, I didn't think there was a chair there. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, that, that part is... It's a lot harder than it looks, I, I will say. Uh, dodging him can... Dodging his first initial hit because he does have like a little bit of a... Yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. Sure. If I take one hit there, it's fine, but two hits can get a little risky. It's a little dicey, but that's okay. We're just gonna close the door on his face. It's fine. Uh, Alright, we want to go up here, and we're gonna go unlock a door. And we're gonna go activate a cutscene, which makes the janitor magically disappear. It's great. Yeah, that whole section is like is looks deceptively easier than what it actually looks like. That there's just that looks so hard to actually do without dying. Yeah, it, it is like probably the hardest part of the run, uh, in my opinion. It's it's just the initial dodge is hard to do. Uh, thankfully, there's some heals coming up, so we won't be completely uh, at risk here. Um, but yeah, that 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 was unfortunate. It's okay though. Yeah, we had to dodge him again. <laughs> he's a spooky man. Goodness. Yeah, he's probably gonna kill me here. Uh, that's not good. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Yeah, I'm just... Ah, that's unfortunate! Oh, he's not supposed to be there. <laughs> Sub 30, I hope. <laughs> this is the most I've died uh, in a long time. 
two hours of sleep and uh, running on fumes will do that. Oh, thankfully we're in an okay spot though. Hopefully he doesn't. Okay, you got it. this. Yeah, he shows back up in that uh, in that door, so we have to dodge him again. Uh, usually he's not too bad, but uh, it's a little spicy. It is marathons, so obviously AI yeah. is going to be as bad as it wants to be. That's the way it usually goes, chat. I'm just going to try and... If he hits me the one time, it's fine. Okay, there we go. I should have did that initially, but it's fine. He's he's a pain in the butt. All right, so we want to do right, uh, left, and then right. A marathon luck be damned. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like that. It really <laughs> good, good recovery, though. Good recovery. It's okay. Hey, Kat, we're trying to do predictions in chat to, like, get people to spend their channel points and stuff. And I was wondering, would you like to do one with your number of deaths? Oh, I God. didn't want this to be shady or not, but, like, I, we could do a prediction, like, how, uh, you know. That will probably be the most deaths in the run. Okay, uh, okay, unless right. I somehow die at the end. Which, I mean, we get more ending song. with that. That's great. Oh, I'm hoping she doesn't attack me. Uh, you'll you'll understand later. Uh, what was the number? I think it's forty six seventeen. Uh, forty six seventeen. I glanced yeah. at it. I could be wrong. You Sorry, it. I'm letting you focus. Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. I guess like, we 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 still have an extra shot where I could possibly die. I hope I hope not, but <laughs> it could happen. No, you're the best. Chat, you gotta have faith in her. She won't die anymore. Cat's literally uh, a professional. I'm a professional, uh... Professional at not dodging hits. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Uh, that's definitely the, uh, the worst of it out of the way. I, I went into the wrong door. Brain, hello, you already unlocked that door. There we go. Now baby. Don't mind the baby again. He's just factu infatuated with the doll on the shelf. He really wants his toy. Oh, uh, there is um this thing with uh we didn't mention with triggers in this game. Cat knew that that item was already in there to get inside the pot, but she actually just couldn't. The game won't let you. So much like a lot of like new age games where they'll lock stuff behind certain story triggers. Like, even yeah. if you know it's there, the game won't let you take it anyways until you do the steps before it. Yeah, so if I were to go to that base beforehand, it wouldn't really... Um, how do I explain it? It wouldn't really... Uh, it would just be like a black hole, if you will. Uh, it won't show us anything. It just kind of... You don't know that that's there. Also, there's a key on a CD somehow. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We got some support keys? for. Oh, sorry. Oh no, oh, you're, no you're fine. Good. If, if there's a room for donations, now would be a good time. Yeah, it is cool because we got some support for you in our donations. We have Coughlin who donates fifty four and three cents. Thank you so much. And he says, or, or oh, actually, they say, good luck on the run, cat. And we awesome. also have Bolkaj nineteen ninety nine with five sixty nine who says, please let cat know I'm here. She'll know why. Hi, Boca. <laughs> Uh, thank you, everyone, for your generosity. It's really appreciated. Thank you, everybody. Seriously, yeah. thank you so much. It really means a lot. And thank you. Uh, we're actually going to take that heal right there. Thankfully, that's right there. Um, all right. So now, uh, yeah, j baby, small baby turned into big baby, and now we gotta go get baby his toy. But first, we gotta go. Uh, we gotta go put it in the oven, and then, you know cool it down first because that makes sense Perfect. <laughs> we gotta go logic. hard in the clay essentially uh, but it's another sequence where you're on a timer and you have to do a certain uh, certain amount of things before the time runs out thankfully it's really not that hard uh, but stamina can be an issue sometimes here uh, especially in this section here very dizzying all right. Jarring. I think the timer is pretty pretty lenient for you in this regard. Actually, in most regards in this game, from what I understand. Yeah. Like, the timer is, like, super lenient. It doesn't really, uh... 
it, it, it's not as like pressured as you would think. Casually, it is kind of like a pressure because you don't know where anything is. Uh, it's kind of just a hope and guess and figure it out. Usually, you would be to you would be showed like the backstory of the baby essentially and understand the lore and kind of the cutscenes in between that we saw were like an indication of what you were supposed to do this game is very much uh big on it's very big on that where it won't exactly uh show you where you need to go or say hey go here it's kind of like you have to sort of figure it out on your own all right we are now got the uh, toy and now we can go give the toy to baby it's Ooh. ready now how we were holding really hot clay in our hand i will never know <laughs> don't question it Just here go you go big it. baby baby pissed <laughs> baby shake the house baby rage in chat guys baby hey. rage yeah get your baby rages in chat Maybe no rage. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that that was the boss fight. Boss, like I said, the janitors are more of the boss fight than anything else. Uh, boss fight, boss fights are more of like a intricate showpiece, I guess. All right, so now that we've finished that, we got the wooden token, and now we can move on to the third building. But the Think about the third building is we're actually going to be skipping uh, all of it. Literally all of it. Just out the window. Who needs building three? It's it's a pain in the butt anyways. I don't want to deal with it. Nobody wants to deal with True. it. So we're going to skip it. Oh, She's kind of mad about it though. Three. Yeah, so we're going to do a skip coming up here. Uh, it is... I'm hoping things go... Wait. Eh, I'm hoping it goes okay. We'll see. We got this. What? We believe in you. Yeah, I, I, I try to believe myself. After how building two went, I'm not sure. You're <laughs> all see. chat. What cat has to do coming up is basically cutting it real close uh, to an evil NPC, uh, one of the janitors that's gonna open up a door. Basically, cat's gonna bait the AI to do it, and she's gonna take a certain line. And be in the certain spot so when the door opens by the AI, she's gonna then sprint past it and not die because she's a god gamer and skip <laughs> straight to building four. I appreciate your uh your belief in me. Thank you. Don't worry, uh, I'm just betting my whole house on you. Oh no. <laughs> no pressure. Yes, yeah, so the reason why we pick hard for this is simply for the ai uh the ai wouldn't be like, because the ai is really aggressive on uh, on hard mode so we want the aggressiveness to be able to do this skip uh we wouldn't be able to do this skip otherwise uh it's unfortunate you would be able to do it on like very easy or something like that but the ai on very easy is super well it's very docile and doesn't really do anything. So basically, we want the AI to open the door for us. He's such a gentleman, he's going to open that door. <laughs> right, so we're going to run. We're going to open this door here so we can run inside after, touch the door, and start walking away. And then we're just going to wait. We see the janitor on his uh, merry little way. We can, uh, you know, see him briefly. Oh, he stopped. That's concerning. Okay, I was a little worried there. And there's the door, and away we go! That's building three. <laughs> See, I knew it! Yeah, building three is usually a lot more complicated. As you saw, there was many different floors, a ton of classrooms. Yeah, it's a lot... There's a lot of stuff you'd have to do uh, that are really tedious, but thankfully we don't have to do that. It, uh, gentleman opens the door for us, and we move Heck on. Yeah, Good job, man. Hey, get some hype in chat for that. That was sick. First try, easy peasy. Yeah, that was, I was a little worried about that sometimes. Because, uh, yeah, the AI can be a little bothersome because he can hit me while, uh, you know, hit me on the way out type thing. Uh, hate to see you leave. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he can, if he turns at, a, like, an, at an angle, he'll probably hit you. But if he's looking straight, usually he doesn't hit you. Usually, I put that lightly. 
because I had had moments where he decided he wanted to hit me. Uh, but thankfully, he did not. Easy door. Easy door, easy life. So now we're trying to... Uh, we're basically doing the last boss fight, and can we just get a bunch of O's in chat? Oh yeah, guys, you're gonna spam O's of varying capitalization. Make sure there's different sizes of your O's, because it's very important that you spam. And if you have, yeah. <laughs> have Kaylee pop, there's two pop, make sure you spam that too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it just gets more intense, I promise. <laughs> if you guys ever think maybe does it stop? It doesn't. It keeps going. And it just Watch, I can't more. hear you over the oh. <laughs> so right piece. now, there's uh, technically a lady chasing after us, and because uh, she hits like a brick, uh, I'm actually going to take that emergency deal there, just to be safe, because uh, if she does hit me, it would literally kill me, so I'm just going to be very careful here. Better safe than sorry. Oh, the extra boss fight, by the way, is even better music than this. <laughs> I really wish I could show it. Oh, wait, better music than this? Oh, I am not. I really wish we got there, too. Well, if anyone wants to plug in a last minute, very hefty donation, maybe we can make it to the 6,000 we need for that extra boss fight, but time's closing in. Check the couch cushions, guys. It's only $1,500. <laughs> it's just $1,500. It's okay. Alright, we do have to wait for the uh, the fire there because the fire does have a little bit of a... Even though it looks like it's gone, it can still do damage to you for whatever reason. So Lady's gonna be right here. We're gonna run away. Uh, ladies are scary. We don't want to... We don't want her to touch us. So we're gonna... We're gonna go away. She has a knife. I don't like knives. So I'm just gonna sit over here and wait for her to come over. Until she hits that corner and then I can move. There you go. Uh, we do have another fire to deal with over here. It's the final fire. And uh, while we're doing this, she can hit us. So we don't want her anywhere near us while we're doing it. And wait for the fire to go away. This fire is blue. There you go. For some reason. There we go. And time's going to be coming up very shortly. I don't see slow pokes in chat, so I think I'm okay. I think I think I think you nailed it. You did just fine. Let's go. All right, and I'm gonna be calling time very shortly. We're gonna heal, tend to her, uh, tend to her ankle because if we don't, then we have to. We basically get a different ending. We want to end this as quick as possible. Tend to her ankle, and uh, yeah, and then we we leave together. And time is now. Good job. Do, 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 do. What was our final time? IGT 2931. Let's go. Even with all those deaths. Sub 30. That's insane. Let's go. GG, everybody. Good job. And uh, that was uh, that was White Day. It's a very quick run. A uh, few deaths. But honestly, uh, under 30 with a few deaths, we, we take those. We take those. Uh, but yeah, this has been an awesome time. Sorry I couldn't show you the extra boss fight. I I, I, I really wish I could. I, I totally would. However, we didn't hit the donation goal. But that doesn't mean you should stop donating. You should definitely keep those donations coming in. I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, it would mean a lot to me uh, and, and Zeke as well. And, and also all the other people, the fine folks uh, in the background you know, who who put the show together. That would also mean a lot to them. And also all the children with, uh, you know, mental mental stuff, uh, autism, all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, keep the donations coming in. And Zeke, thank you so much for uh, for doing some commentary with me. It's always appreciated. Oh, of course. It was very fun, and you did a great job. And 
Thank, thank you. you. The donators in chat was all a good time. Make sure you guys check you, out everybody. Kat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Catholic and Zeke. Thank you so much for, for showing up and showing us this run tonight. I had a stupid prediction in chat, and I need for lore reasons to know what the answer is. Kathleen, can you tell me? Did the oh. baby make it in the end? It was the baby naked? No, did he make it? Oh, he did fine? he make it? I was like, what? <laughs> I well, mean, he, he was naked, but... Yeah, he was pretty naked. Uh, uh, the baby basically goes to a better place. Uh, we Aww. freed the baby by giving it to the toy because it had some sort of sentiment. I forget what the lore is exactly. I just know <laughs> that the, the doll is a sentimental thing. And that was what the baby needed to go on to uh, better pastures or greener <laughs> greener pastures or whatever. You know, Such the a baby's good okay, everybody. Such the a, baby is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you, everyone who donated. I uh, just stay with us and we'll continue. We'll be with you just in a second. Thank you again, Zeke and Kat Link. Thank you. Thank you.